app here, you'll see the Walkers Hout route. And I've just finished completing my itinerary, building it on the map. And now that I've done that, I can view it in a report format. So in the left-hand panel, down the bottom in the center, you will see an itinerary button. If you click on that, give it a couple of seconds, it will then generate an itinerary document or itinerary report of your plan. Now I'm gonna explain the different parts of this report for you. So firstly, in the top right-hand corner, you'll see this little edit icon. If you click on that, you'll go back to the previous map screen. Be able to make further changes to your itinerary, return here to see them instantly reflected on your report. Next to it is a print icon. If you click on that, you can then download a PDF um, copy of this report in either A4 size or letter size. And the third button, which is grayed out and not functional yet, is a share, um, a share icon. Um, we haven't delivered this feature yet, and so it won't work at this stage, but uh, it'll be coming soon. Then to look at the actual report, at the top section, you've got a summary of your trip. So you've got things like your start location, your finish location, which direction you're heading, um, number of days, total trail stats, average trail stats, um, and the hiking speeds, all four hiking speeds, with the one highlighted that you're intending to follow when you're there. The next section is then a daily hiking summary. So this then breaks your trip down into its individual days, giving you start and finish location, distance, elevation gain and loss, number of mountain passes or peaks you'll cross on that day. Again, all of the estimated hiking times with the one highlighted you're intending to follow. And then the planned transport time for any transport you're intending to take along the way. Now these trail stats are in metric for me, so they're in meters and uh, kilometers. However, if you select the imperial measurements on the previous screen as part of your planning process, then these will show in miles and feet. It's up to you to personalize. The next section is then a map of your route. You can zoom in if you would like to see it in more detail. You can't interact with this map other than zooming in and out, but it will therefore feature on the PDF report that you um, print of it. Then you have an elevation profile of your entire journey. Um, the teal color is where you'll be hiking. The orange color is where you have planned to take transport along the journey. You've then got a summary of the trip that you've planned. And then we get down into the section that breaks the trail into each of its individual days. And the start and finish locations of each of these sections are points of interest. So they are things like villages, uh, transport stops, uh, mountain passes, uh, accommodation along the way, such as uh, refuges that you'll come across in remote locations, um, and other points of interest that you would ordinarily see on the signs or on um, a physical topographic map of the area. You'll also see in here we've got sections for any of the planned transport that you'll take to, and that's when the two columns on the right-hand side have been populated. So it highlights here that on day one, the planned Praz gondola will be taken, and it takes about 15 minutes to go from the bottom to the top. After the daily breakdown in table format, you've then got an elevation profile of this day. And so therefore it's sort of that zoomed in view of just specifically this day, um, which you know you can then sort of tell from the top one that it's that first, first part of the entire journey. You then got some notes on each of the routes that form part of this day. The names of the mountain passes or peaks, the planned transport, and then any other transport that's available to you along um, the route this day, and then where you'll be staying at the end. Each of the days of your journey then has a similar breakdown that you can then review. And then when you're satisfied with the report, you can go ahead and select to print, and then it will download that PDF for you, and you can choose to either then email it to your other hiking members of the group, uh, save it on your phone to refer to in a digital format along the way or print a physical version of it 
if you'd like to review it in physical form. Let's return back to the map now.